In this video, I'm going to show why drinking apple cider vinegar after meals prevents blood sugar spikes. Around 3.7 million people in Britain suffer from diabetes and the numbers are expected to rise. Of those already diagnosed, 90% have type 2 diabetes while the remaining 10% have type 1. Diabetes is a lifelong condition that causes a person's blood sugar level to become too high. Type 2 diabetes develops when the body becomes resistant to insulin or when the pancreas stops producing enough insulin. Common symptoms of type 2 diabetes include frequent urination, a sudden increase in appetite, mood swings and problem sleeping. One of the best ways to prevent and control type 2 diabetes is through simple diet and lifestyle changes. However, recent studies have shown the apple cider vinegar is a great natural remedy. Sipping on apple cider vinegar after a meal could help lower blood sugar levels according to scientists. Research found that taking 20 grams of apple cider vinegar diluted in 40 grams of water with one teaspoon of saccharin could lower blood sugar after meals. The study, published by the American Diabetes Association, found the vinegar can help improve insulin sensitivity to a high-carbohydrate meal. A further study found taking apple cider vinegar before bed helped moderate blood sugar upon waking up. This is because apple cider vinegar can regulate blood sugar by increasing insulin resistance, so you're less likely to crave sugary treats. Apple cider vinegar has long been a favourite natural remedy for an extraordinary number of ailments. It contains acetic acid, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, polyphenols and other types of acids. Evidence is beginning to pile up for at least some uses of apple cider vinegar. Many professionals will recommend, however, that you only use the mother apple cider vinegar and not any filtered apple cider vinegar products. Recent research has indicated that apple cider vinegar can significantly reduce blood sugar levels after a starchy or a high glycemic index meal, but not after a low glycemic index meal. Other research has indicated that apple cider vinegar can decrease the A1C value when it is used regularly. This effect seems to hold true in both type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes. The best way to take apple cider vinegar is as a beverage. Take 1 to 2 teaspoons and add it to around 180 ml of water. Take it 3 to 4 times a day, it said. The liquid is made during a two-step fermentation process. Apple cider vinegar is made when cut apples are crushed and combined with yeast to convert the sugar to alcohol. Apple cider vinegar has also been used by numerous celebrities as a weight loss aid. Researchers have found drinking green tea in the mornings can also help prevent high blood sugar levels. The Diabetes UK organisation have stated that they have known for years that tea is good for you. In fact, it's often known as a super drink. Unfortunately, for those of us who like a milky brew, the health benefits only come from black or green tea. No sugar, no milk, no herbal tea. The benefits of green tea have long been documented and the drink is said to help detoxify the body and aid weight loss. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how apple cider vinegar improves insulin sensitivity, slashes blood sugar and prevents diabetes. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on 6 health benefits of baking soda and apple cider vinegar tonic drink. Thanks for watching and bye for now.